So first of all, thank you all. Um, you can probably understand it's a very emotional topic. <laughs> Just listening to him speak about it hits me in the heart right away because it took me back to the past two years. To be the voice for the voiceless is an honor. It's an honor to sit at this table. It's an honor to see you out there. Because honestly, the fact that you're there means these women's voices for the first time in 10 years of abuse has been heard. Many of us who don't sit in a country like this have no idea what it means to be voiceless. Have no idea what it means to be in so much pain and agony, reach out for help and nobody respond. And the worst, have people tell you this is just the way it is in your country and you must live like that. When Prince Ali reached out and invited us to a round table, it was an honor and a privilege because it was the first person, the first organization to say, we hear you and we wanna help and we wanna stand with you. And after a year of trying to go through a system that doesn't exist and having pushback from all these governing bodies saying, you're not doing it right you haven't complained, you haven't sent in your complaints officially, but what is the system and where do we send it? When we got invited to the round table to sit in a room and look around and just think, wow, people are listening, and not to me, but to these women who nobody would listen to and nobody has been listening to. This abuse has been going on in this country for almost a decade. Boys and girls, men and women, and not one person was able to be heard. Not one man, not one woman, not one boy, not one girl was ever to be heard until this moment when this group stepped in. I respect that FIFA has banned the president. It's a start. It is far from a solution. In some ways, I see it as a cop-out, and that is why your voice matters. We cannot accept that one ban of one person solves this problem. This problem has affected so many people. It is endemic across this federation. The list of male names that were given to me by my players goes on and on and addresses almost every man in that federation, and we've banned one of them. This does not solve the problem. That is why your voice matters today. I have seen how abuse tears apart a human soul. I see how those who support those who have been abused tears apart a human soul. I don't think you can ever be the same after you've gone through something like this. It tears families apart. It destroys communities. Football is made, it's a hope and a dream, it's a passion that builds communities. That's what all of us stand on every day is we love football because it builds community. It builds hope, it builds dream, it builds character, it builds great people. And if we don't stand up and have a voice, we're allowing these abusers to destroy the game that we believe has so much to give to the world. And I can't express enough how important it is for you and everyone you know to raise your voice and raise your hand. It is not a topic fun to talk about. It is not. And you have to be cautious and careful and I get it. And I wanna protect my players more than anything. But the world needs to know the truth and we are not the only country going through this. And every governing body, every president, every leader in football from grassroots through elite needs to stand up. This is not acceptable anymore. And if it was happening in your country, to your daughter, to your niece, to your wife, to your partner, what would you do? Just because they don't live in that country doesn't mean we shouldn't stand for them and every girl around the world. And fearless football is one of the things I'm gonna be most proud of in my life and I want to make sure we make this happen. Systematic change to protect every young girl and woman and ensure that football is the most passionate and positive place for all of us to exist. So thank you for being here and please join the campaign.